Hey everyone, I had an amazing, amazing weekend. Many of you were with me. Thank you to everyone who came up and said, hey, I'm of course talking about ShmooCon, um, one of the best ones yet. I have attended every single ShmooCon. ShmooCon is where the first time I ever gave a main stage talk at a HackerCon, all the way back at the start. Yeah. Uh, we, whew, we, we smoked this one to the filter this weekend, and some people even said they were burning their fingers, metaphorically. But uh, yeah, this, we, this was incredible. Thank you so much to everyone who brought their A-game and then some. I'm still in town. I'm not at the Hilton, though. You can kind of tell. Bonus points if you know what hotel I'm at, if you can figure it out. Uh, Tara and I moved over to the hotel where we're spending uh, the next few days because she's got business on the hill. And then I've got business uh, around here as well that I don't talk about. But I am going to talk to you about hotel TV remotes. Yeah. I had shot this little ditty using a flipper a while back. And again, just I love kind of talking about fun, little, simple hacks to make your life better. Uh, we talked about the door strap, the deadbolt strap, and everyone who got one of those, enjoy. Uh, they're on the website. I don't mention if you didn't get one from me at ShmooCon. But if you are also uh, on the road and you're in hotels a lot, this video might be for you. Kind of reminds me of a story my buddy Ray Redacted was telling me about when we were, we were hanging out at Shmoo about uh, comic book characters and sorts of things involving TV controls. Other kind of magic that you might know if you're an insider in the IR blasting industry. How many of you got free parking this weekend? What? No, I shouldn't talk about that. Watch this instead. Stay safe out there. Hey, everyone. Maybe you've had this problem before. Uh, you're staying at a hotel. The hotel in-room entertainment has allegedly all kind of amenities and good stuff, but it's really not that great. You know, you can choose from various uh, pre-programmed baloney, local programming, but what you can't do is switch yourself down to the actual inputs, the HDMI, the things like that. We could try menu. What does menu get us? Well, you can access a bunch of other paid features, right? because they, that's what they want you to do. They want you to get the in-room movies, they want you to get the in-room dining, or get your bill, or hell, sometimes this bullshit doesn't even seem to work. But this remote, this remote is not gonna get you much of anywhere, which is why sometimes it's helpful to have a Flipper Zero. Yeah, the Flipper Zero, among its functions, are that infrared blaster, right? So if I go down here to infrared, what do I have programmed in there? Well. I have some save remotes that I pulled one off of GitHub, in fact, was the LG Hospitality Television Master Service Remote, which includes some additional functions that my room remote does not have, like, for example, input control. Bloop. Hey, how about that? Let's switch it on over to HDMI 1, and we are in business. Yes, the Flipper Zero, kind of a toy, but also really freaking useful even with the little IR blaster. Take it from me, have it, on, have it on your gear bag, not the craziest thing for 2024. Ultimately, I wanted to just show you the kind of fun that I like to have on the road, and the flippers definitely become a part of that. Let me know if this is down in your gear bag as well these days, all right? Stay safe out there.